Hello, so I haven't been on here very often. And I finally come up get the uh, I finally came up with content. Look at that. I mean I come up with ideas. So um actually something furry related and it is a foot paw tutorial. Now this one isn't glued down. But this is just like it's giant, but this is just like an example of what we're going to be making. I already made one foot. We're going to make the other together. I'm going to show you step by step. Really short but simple explanation of my process and how I do everything. So, let's get started. So first things first about crafting anything, um, don't have your space looking like mine. That is someone's body, don't worry about it. Um, this is disgusting. <laughs> I need to clean it, but I will not do it right now. I have better things to do. So do not judge my workspace, please. So basically, what I have here is you're going to want to get something like this. It is like a gym mat. Um, I'll leave a link or I'll try to find where I got this from because these are pretty big. You can fit several shoes on here if you need to. Hello? So what you're going to do is you're going to get a template just like this and it matches this other side because this is the same exact pattern I used this on. So you are just going to flip it over. Put your shoe right there. I leave just a little bit of space so that I can carve some foam to where it fits just like that. So these are actually a size 12. And okay, I can't do this. All right, so what I'm doing, I'm just tracing this pattern directly onto this piece of foam. Alright, so I've cut this out, which fits just right there. So what you're also going to do, what you're also going to do is you're going to take your pattern and you're going to trace it out onto some upholstery foam. So this is some two inch foam. Wasn't thick enough, so I got this and I got that, and you're just gonna glue them together and make a giant brick of that pattern. Hey, so, so I don't know why I didn't talk, talk in this clip, but I really didn't. didn't. So, so I just, just glued it together, together and I'm gonna make a hole where the shoe will fit, just, just like that. that. And, and I, I used a carving knife, knife, but it's, it's actually, actually meant like fish, but that's, that's close. close. And, and it, it works, works really good for cutting out the whole shoe foam. But, but then I'm just going to finish the foam work, um, putting foam all the way around the shoe, and I'm just making it more better looking. You can try to copy my design, um, but I do encourage you to find your own way to do it. But this is with half inch upholstery foam. And then after you're done with all of that, and it looks kind of good, um, you're going to want to cover it in masking tape. And this just creating the patterns for the fur which I have another video of how to do that. Ankle parts. So this is basically, um, for this, I just took the measurements, the same pattern measurements that I took for this, and it is literally just, for the violet part, a rectangle. It is slightly diagonal right here, just so that when the ends meet, it doesn't poke out. And then this is the white part of the pattern. They're just rectangles. They can go either way, upside down, whatever. They'll still fit. And this is going to go around here to create this. And this is just bias tape. I did a zigzag stitch on these. It's just to hide the raw edges. Um, this part won't be shown, so. Yeah. It's just to keep from... The wear and tear of fraying and stuff keep it nice and intact so i just glued the fur to the bottom of these with e6000 trust me it will not fall apart unless you rip it up 
Now, another warning about these is that these gym mats are kind of slippery, so do be careful. And after this glue dries, I am going to trim the fur that is kind of just hanging over in any leftover fabric to just further decrease, like, the um, risk of slipping and whatnot. And, yeah, basically, I used... I don't know if I mentioned... I used... Ah! So I did glue the fur down to the foam, just like along important pieces to where it won't lift up and be loose. I used Gorilla Glue, which is waterproof, so you can hand wash these with detergent. An E6000, I'm pretty sure, is also waterproof. Um, it's pretty sturdy industrial glue. So, yeah, if um, any, if this gets dirty, just get a, bu a bucket of water, some detergent, do some, like, hand spot cleaning, um, and just let them dry. I don't think you can put this in a washer or anything like that, just because of the shoe that's inside of it. So, yep, that's basically the end of the tutorial. So, if you like this tutorial, if it was a little bit easier, um, I know that some tutorials are, like, hours long, or they're, like, literally just... What, um, people fast forwarding through it. I watched those as well. I did enjoy them. It's just that they were so long. So uh, my goal is just to make tutorials that are as easy to understand as possible and are as short as possible. So I'm not wasting your time and you learn. Um, I also look different because my aesthetic changes by the week. So, um, yeah. I'd say you should subscribe for more, but my content is all over the place right now, so yeah.